we all know Pete's kind of special. And so we, we tried to figure out where he gets that specialness from. And so I've got to tell you just a really quick story. Connie and I were living with mom and dad while our house was being built. She was like eight months pregnant with Pete. Or not, well, at that point, nine months, ready to go. So, you know, we were sitting there, I was sitting there watching the Braves game. And Connie was, you know, in the back somewhere. And all of a sudden, mom comes and she says, honey, I think she's ready. And I said, mom, it's three, two count. The bases are loaded. She's gonna have to hang on for just a minute. And so then she comes in and she says, I think we really need to go. And then finally, when I knew we needed to go, dad, who doesn't really say much about anything, he goes, Mel, get your ass up and get your wife to the hospital. So I said, yes, sir, right away, will do. So we got there, I got her there really on time. It was Dr. Watt that was late. So what could have been done at like eight, nine o'clock went till three or four in the morning. So maybe Pete got a little overcooked. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure, but he's a little well done and sometimes, but you know, he is Pete and he is special. I, I love you, son. Be respectful of one another and always put each other's happiness before your own. Make each other laugh, have fun together, and always know why it is you got together in the first place. I love you both. I can't wait for the next Mrs. Billis tomorrow, and welcome to the family. Pete, I, I couldn't be more happy to have you join our family. You, um, I, I know that um, you love my daughter uh, as much as you love golf. <laughs> so I know we'll be okay. In, in 1 Corinthians, it says, love never gives up. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. You know, the strength of love can get you through anything. You know, hearing Tommy say you're going to be the, the next Mrs. Villas, you remind me a lot of my mother, Mrs. Villas, who, and I'm telling you, that's the highest compliment I can pay anybody. I didn't really get to know Yaya Rosie that much, but everything my mom has told me and Poppy have told me and my, my new have told me about Yaya Rosie is literally you. It is like the craziest thing. Um, we all call her Saint Rosie. So now you're Saint Stephanie and you are a saint because you're marrying yes, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stephanie, you've been, since the day you were born, our little princess. And uh, you will always be our, our little princess. Your mom and I have, have always been so proud of you. You know, even uh, as a child, you showed a lot of independence. A toast to uh, Stephanie and Pete. A life filled with happiness and love and lots of babies. I love you. One year for Christmas, my mom and I gave Pete shampoo and soap and told him to use this. Um, so thank God Stephanie came along because he started showering. Um, but anyway, <laughs> all our differences aside, he is the person I look up to the most. He has been through some challenging times in his life. I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, and has always found a way to remain positive and keep pushing forward. And I truly admire that about him. He's the funniest person I know without even trying to be. And there's truly no one like him. And I am forever fortunate that he is my big brother. I 
I'm Nick, I'm Pete's cousin, and also his best friend. I was diagnosed with epilepsy, and we didn't really know what, what was going on for a whole entire summer where I didn't even leave my house. And I didn't want to see anybody or talk to anybody. Pete, Pete would come over five days a week knowing that I didn't want him there at all. <laughs> but, but he kept coming, he kept coming. And um, he was the only one that did that. And looking back on it, it just, it means so much to me. I know that you'll be the first person there if I ever need anything. Special thanks to my mom. She's as honest as you will ever find. And many times in my life, she told me that it would take a very, very special person to marry me. Seriously, a thousand times. And I would like to tell you that I did find that very special person in Stephanie. Um, in Stephanie, the special girl. is special for certain. We've um, gone from two dogs to one dog. We've gone from two cars to one car. We've gone from high credit scores to low credit scores. <laughs> We've gone from good jobs to no jobs. I love you with all my heart, and I cannot wait to marry you tomorrow. Thank you. I think anyone that's ever met Pete has probably once described him as the dumbest smart person we know. Um, and we have a few examples of that. So smart, Pete was one of the top people graduating from his class at Hammond. Dumb, he ended up choosing Clemson to go to college. <laughs> smart, uh, he's a very well respected anesthesiologist after finishing residency in Florida. Dumb. I've seen his nipples multiple times in theme parks in Florida. <laughs> Pete accepted me, marrying into this family and marrying his sister. Dumb. Pete accepted me into this family and marrying his sister. <laughs> Smart. Pete is marrying the beautiful Stephanie. Dumb. He proposed in an alley and waited two years to finally do it. Come on, come on. 